All right, now we're getting more interesting. Now we're asked for the generic form for a n. In other words, given what some value of n is, how do we find the area? In other words, whatever you have here better work for if you put in n equals 1, you better get 2. If you get n equals 2, you better get 6, and so on. Now think about how we determine the area. In general, remember what we just talked about before here, the area is going to be, let's see here, a n is going to be the number of rows times the number of columns. If that makes any sense. Right? The number of rows times the number of columns tells us the area. The problem is we need this in terms of n. So maybe it helps to take a look at this and see, all right, for n equals 1, how many columns are there and how many rows are there? So look, when n is 1, there's two rows. When n is 2, there's three rows. When n is 3, there's four rows. So does it make sense to you that the number of rows is just going to be the um, whatever n is and just add 1? You can see when n is 1, it's 2. When it's 2, it's 3. When it's 3, it's 4 rows. So we can just say that whatever n was, just add 1 to it. And the number of columns, calls, so sort for columns, uh, that's just the, exactly the number of n. See, if it was 1, n is 1, there's 1 column. n is 2, there's 2 columns. n is 3, 3 columns, 4, 4 columns, and so on. So that's just n. And if that's the case, then we just put this together. We just decode it. We say a n equals the number of rows, which in this case is n plus 1, times the number of columns, which is just n. Now you could leave it like this, or you could of course expand it. So let's just say, so we can say, or we can just expand this. So n times n is n squared, plus uh, 1 times n, that's just n. So you could also say this as well. So either of those are okay. I think what made this question more complicated is just the notation that they use with their K's and A's and P's and Q's. Uh, once you sort of decode what to do, hopefully you can see that the question then is totally solvable. You just had to decode it first.